My name is Rivka Karmi. Uh, I am professor in uh, pediatrics and medical genetics, and I am the president of Ben Gurion University of the Negev in Be'er Sheva. Uh, ben Gurion University is the youngest university in Israel, 46 years old. It is. Uh, it resides in the northern part of the Negev, which is the desert part of Israel. It has three campuses, one in Be'er Sheva, one in Sde Boker, where we uh, research the Negev, the, uh, the dry land, and uh, a small campus in Eilat, which emphasizes marine studies um, and other subjects for residents of uh, the Eilat area. We have today close to 20,000 students. About uh, two-thirds of them are undergraduate students. Close to 35% are master's and doctorate students. Most of them resides in the Negev. About 40% of our students are coming from the Negev area, from the southern part of Israel. The rest are coming from all other parts of Israel. Uh, Ben-Gurion University is very unique in the fact that it was created with a mandate from the government of Israel to spearhead the development of the Negev, of this dry land. According to the vision of David Ben-Gurion, the namesake of our university, the founder of the State of Israel, who said that the future of uh, research and science will be tested in the Negev. And he said that if we don't conquer the desert, the desert will conquer us. So we are living up to this day to uh, Ben-Gurion's vision and we are involved in all kinds of projects in the South, meaning to uh, help developing uh, the physical uh, structures, economy, uh, the, uh, the community, education, medicine. I became the president of this university 10 years ago. Um, the reason for that was because I truly believe that uh, this university is very unique. It is not an institution of higher education per se, only research and teaching, but it is an organization that has a national role in Israel because I strongly believe that the future of Israel is in the Negev. And so I believe that leading this university is not only important for the development of the desert land of Israel, but for the the state of Israel in, uh, in general. Uh, to me, Israeli is not to take anything for granted. I think unmatched in the world, in the history of the world, not to take for granted the fact that uh, as human beings, we are here for a purpose, obviously, to make Israel or to ensure not the existence, but also the prosperity and development of this country uh, to keep being a leader in technology, in values and morality. We are here for Israel, that we are here as a light unto the nations.